this would be big. What a treasure! Scout ship setting si Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. That ceremony was simply fantastic! Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something, too. He raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king! You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgand's vulnerable without him. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a Code Red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> And let me guess, that's where the Blood Wings come in. Exactly. There are Blood Wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these Code Red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so here, take this. Those Blood Wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. 
All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those Code Red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these Code Red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those Bloodwings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Laffy said. What is it, Rogoro? Mabo Curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malachim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes? Sounds good. Uh. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure. 
Maybe things are not as bad as they could have been. But we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it. Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser. Yep, you're completely right. All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Red crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. We're done here. Let's go. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorias as soon as possible. <gasps> it's you! Oh, hey, the crybaby. Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Praetor! You won't get away this time! You really want to fight, don't you? Willing to fight without your Malachim? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis! How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malachim up her sleeves! He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad voice! The Enfu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Mother! No! What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Y yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine provided by High Priest Gideon to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? Whew. Looks like we're in the clear.
least now I know where to find him! That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same! The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of! Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's go back and report our success. You sure you want me for this? What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes. He's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Fish me now, demon! <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set! Uh, alright. Hi, I'm Luffy Set! Knock it off! Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy said. Uh, all right. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd. Savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malakim know of them beyond the stories and legends. 
He called Inominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. Trouble at the docks, was there? Well, so long as the job was done. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. So... Somebody needs to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps?
Was that supposed to be a joke? If you want to live, get out of my way. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Worth my time. I'll finish this now. That wasn't worth the effort. I was just getting warmed up. Just 
wish I had power like that. Out of our way! That's there! That's our food! Give it up! It's ours! Double hate! So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Looks like they ran off. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. That scarf, did that belong to the attackers? Yeah, all three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just demons. Aggressive ones who attacked the innocent. Scout ship. The job is done. Time to leave.
not even worth my time. I was just getting warmed up. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helleves and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. <sighs> You're good at what you do. I'm impressed. There's still more to do. I'm sure it'll be easy for you. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions.
High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the Abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. A sinner and repent to your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh... I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here, quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's about how I figured it'd go. Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They must be stopped! I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See? That's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. Their Mabo curry is delicious. <laughs> No, no, no! See? Even children are being tempted by their evils! Eating both Mabo and curry together, it's heresy! There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint! If you want to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing, coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content, too. But doing so makes us no better than animals. In order for humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They are the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. I read in a book that Empyrean worship 
is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshipped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following him. Oh, great Empyreans! Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic. The structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Finish this quick. I can't even call that a fight. Finish this quick. Your style is really.
I'll finish this quick. Was that supposed to be a joke? Hey, that noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those Code Red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right, I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Was that supposed to be a joke? I can't even call that a fight. Thank you. 
This guy means business! I know, I know! Training isn't worthwhile if you get killed while doing it. Not even worth my time. Whew. That thing was pretty strong. You just wanted something good to train on. I'm not in it just for myself. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true swordsman wants to train so they can improve themselves. It might be a little late to ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. You say that like it's an afterthought. And that's why I can't fully trust you. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, now that you mention it, Rangetsu's a pretty unusual last name. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land, until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors and has served them in repayment of their debt. Served them... as bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, spies, body doubles. Whatever the order, your family will carry it through. Always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. All right, I get it. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him. As long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> Scout ships.
finish this now. I won't improve by fighting weaklings. my time. my time. this They were nothing.
Fighting the Reaper! Sorry to cut you down.
Unarmed? Hardly. These are dead.
goes there? What on earth are guards doing here? Watch out! They've got molecules! They're no ordinary cell swords. Sheesh, what do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive?